Hello everyone, welcome back to Elden Ring. In today's episode, I am imagining I'm going to be spending a lot of time here with the Godskin duo. Uh, I just d currently don't know how I will do this, like legit. Uh, this is one of the biggest like feeling obstacles I've encountered in this game so far. Uh, one thing I did do since the last episode, I did look up where to get some upgrade materials and I picked up some to upgrade my weapon as far as I can. I think I have it up to like level 21. Which is, you know, slightly better. Slightly doing more damage. We'll see how Luthal does. If nothing else, Luthal has HP and that was absolutely insane. That attack is fucked up, like... Can I just mention that? Oh shit, camera please. Out of all the times, not now. Oh, come on. Gonna deal some damage. Yeah, I thought so. He's gonna roll, isn't he? I still don't know how you are supposed to avoid that. Shit. Yeah, he has like a counter move when he turns into phase 2. Oh, is there another door here? Where does that... Oh, that must be the way forward. Okay, yeah, never mind. Look at how I... This is like a third of their life. Okay, we're gonna try something because I'm like actually sort of getting desperate here. Uh, I heard, well, no, not heard. I read online that these two fuckers are weak to sleep. Uh, and I actually have some of these sleeping pots. Uh, so we're gonna try them. Apparently, sleep and bleed are a way to not cheese them, but you know. Sort of cheese them. Okay, cool. Oh shit, only one of them is asleep. Don't worry. Because I have sleeping arrows too. Yes, okay. And then what you do now is you just go crazy with the bleed. And you hope... Yes. Cool. That's one dead. Because you still need to play well. Okay, I don't even mind. Cool. Fall asleep, come on. Yes. Okay, heal. Yes, do that. Come on, stop. What the hell? What the hell? <laughs> Am I stoned? Thank you. Okay, yes, please do that. Oh, fucking hell. I know I'm not saying much here. 
I think you can understand why. Okay. Hit him with the sleep. Is he done? He's done. Cool. Reduvia. Thank fuck for that. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. This boss, there's truly no other word for it other than unbelievable. Like, what the hell were they smoking when they came up with this? That's all I can say. Um, yeah, that was absolutely horrible. Uh, that's all I can say. I'm gonna pump up my bleed. I don't even know. Feels like that's a good thing to go for. Um, yeah, this is Elden Ring. I'm going to be completely honest with you. You are racking up the minus points uh, in my eyes. But, you know, I'm, of course, half kidding. But seriously. Um, and again, I know I'm spoiling my eventual full review of this game but um i'm really sort of, sort of starting to get a feel that this game really should have ended after Landell. like what the why is there weird i'm like really getting a hard feeling that um Like, Mountaintop of the Giants and all this other shit is completely unnecessary. And they were really sort of running out of ideas here. Uh, might not be the case. But it sure as hell feels like it. Anyways, I'm just hoping that whoever is next is a little bit better than these two and is a little bit less frustrating because this area itself I like this area I actually love this area uh, I think the design of it is really cool and unique just these bosses man See, and I'm like tearing shit up too. Probably should have also checked what we got from them. Because I think we, we got a bell bearing. Didn't we? Them vistas are pretty nice though. I'm pretty much going off of instinct as to <laughs> where we're going here. Uh, this certainly feels like the way forward. And of course there is that, s that whole other area with the, the blight causing assholes. That I probably still should go back and explore. There might be like useful shit there. Oh, okay. Yeah, clever. Clever, clever. And you are gonna get a surprise. Told you. Yeah, uh, these guys... They're pretty easy now. Like, after... I feel like after this boss, everything is gonna seem easy. Listen, that might be counted as cheese, but things like that, are, I don't think, are cheese. Uh, I don't think you can call that cheesing a boss. Cheesing would be if there was, like, a way to get them stuck on, like, the pillar where they would, like, glitch out or something. That's cheesing. But using a status ailment to get an advantage, in my view, is not cheese. He's gonna throw that shit. Yep. 
These guys are out here playing Sekiro. Or they're thinking they're out here playing Sekiro. And they should be sticking to playing Elden Ring. Hmm. Well, wait a second. Oh. Is that... Like, my feel. There's no way to get across. <laughs> like, yeah, there's no way I can reach that. Oh, hey there. Where the hell did you come from? I'm assuming wherever you came from is the way forward. It just could be that I'm completely blind. Oh. <laughs> Thank fuck there is no fall damage in this game. Effectively. That was some top tier platforming from your boy. I keep going the wrong... Well... But then this is a path as well, isn't it? Everything is a path. I'm going off of what feels right. And this feels right. Unless this is where we came from and I'm completely stupid. Which is... No, no. Because, you know, I do shit like that. I end up just going backwards. Okay. It would be... Yep. Thank you, random stone pot or pillar. Let me just get my shit back and do some assassination right here. Told you. And I get that invincibility. And before we move any further, the game just had to tempt me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back in just a bit. Wait, wait a second. Because of course they would do something like this. Tempt me with my terrible platforming skills. With an item on that tiny ass outcropping right there. Dragon Crest Shield Talisman plus two. This is some lightning defense stuff, right? If I had to guess. Oh, vastly boosts physical damage negation. I'm all over that. I am all over that. Listen. That fourth talisman I had was pretty much an afterthought. I just threw something on there. Uh, you know why I'm suspicious. Oh, it's one of those guys. Crucible Knight. Mm, this feels like the way forward. So let me just check the side path here. Maybe I'll have like a checkpoint or something. Without doggos, hopefully. Because I'm just thinking like, this is, yeah, this is the other side. Yeah, that I saw from up there. Cool. Starting to come together, this area. Just we'll see where we'll actually need to go. Not this way. Just the item here. Alright. I'll head on back.
See, because the thing is, how about we take... Uh, <laughs> okay. Didn't work. You know I wanted that cheap stealth. Because it's actually not that easy getting back here. Not that this guy is that difficult. We can actually super bait that and my attack actually hit too. That would be super nice. It's gonna take some time. Shit. My mistake. Is this what the game calls greatly boosted physical defense or physical damage negation? Is that what? Because I straight up got murked like usual. So yeah, once again, I'm just gonna have to, uh, I think, skip this shit because, yeah, again, insane health, way too much damage. For this guy uh we'll just move on because i do have a lot of souls here and i want to check out that bell bearing that i think i got from the god skin do just to see what kind of uh shit it allows me to buy because i really want to get my thing maxed out and by thing i mean my weapon maxed out uh, what is it? What is it? Yeah, okay, cool, 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 cool. So first we need three. And then we need six. I think that's how it works. What about the ancient ones? Or the, not the ancient, the sombering. That's eight, but I think I need nine. Which... I don't know where to get. I don't think you can probably purchase that. I see. Okay, she doesn't... I'm guessing this quest line is... Maybe it's going to progress once I have my fully upgraded weapon. Yeah. See, we've become friends. Come on, don't die on me, blacksmith. This is one of the better blacksmiths ever. Like, you can't rival Andre, of course, and the giant. I can imagine there's a lot of sad boy quest lines in this game. Ancient Dragon Smithing Stone. That's the last one I'm assuming. Because people have told me weapons go up to plus uh, 25 in this game. Which is a weird number. I'm gonna do it. Yeah, and by... So yeah, what I'm going to do, or what I did, is I, I straight up just looked up where one is. Because I really want that ultimate weapon. And apparently, this is it. Cool. We got it. Let's go back before fucking blacksmith dude gets killed. I don't think he will get killed with the story progression. Just seems like that would be an oversight. Kind of thought so. 
Yeah, okay. He doesn't actually have any unique dialogue. I thought he would mention at least the fact that we just got a plus 25 weapon. Cool, 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 cool. Let's head on back. I think this should be... I think this should be the bonfire. All right. So I'm going to go on a little bit longer. I'm not sure... Oh, hello there. I was missing you guys. At least you don't have swords for feet. You just have your claws. Slightly challenging to hit. We do get them sweet feathers. Uh, one hundred percent a shortcut. Damn. Is that a dragon? Yeah. Please don't stun lock me into the dragon lightning. That's exactly what's happening. Shortcut? No. Well, let's just go towards him. This would be a lot easier without birdies, but it's what we got to deal with. The lightning, this reddish lightning does, it's its kind of a cool effect. I do like it. Oh shit, how many? Oh shit, there's a lot of them. And they're gonna definitely follow you, right? Man, where's Torrent when you need him? Oh fuck. This is just, yeah. I was gonna say there's there's no way, there's no way. Okay, cool. So I think the lesson to learn from our previous encounter is you do need to kill all these hawks. You can't just run past them. Which is a bit of an annoyance, but still. We can tackle it. Okay. I think that should be the last one. We got this goddamn dragon. I just want my... I just want my souls. Oh! Why do they have so little HP? Is this just a free dragon kill? Shit. It's doing, yep, it's doing something. Oh no. Oh no. Houston, we have a problem. He's stuck on... Where the hell is he? What the hell? Did it straight up die? What? <laughs> am, am I stoned? That was very bizarre to say the least. Oh, fucking hell. Oh no. <sighs> Come on. They really. I think they're purposefully trying to piss off the player in this area like there's the combination of enemies and obstacles oh nice oh, fuck off 
Thank you. Oh man, the camera. Cool. What is this? Oh, nice. I'm missing the the 9 version of it. There's like again, there's like no other way to like talk elegantly about upgrade materials. That's sounding weird. I might just check the location of one and pick one up. Then I can get my Reduvia to a fully upgraded state as well. It would be nice. I don't think so. Get out of here with that magic. At this point though, um, I'm like completely lost on where I am in this area versus how we started or where we started off. Not that that's an issue. I'm just trudging forward. This, uh, I thought it was a Godskin duo or Godskin guy for a second. It's not. I'm going to be terrified of this color from now on. It's a weird thing because, oh, this might be the one. It, it's a weird thing because I actually like the God Skin guys separately. That's one thing I didn't mention. I actually really like them, especially the noble, the fat guy. I thought it was really fun. But together like that, it's it's a bit of a tough sell, I'm not going to lie. Come on game, give me a give me a checkpoint. Give me a checkpoint. This is gonna I thought this was gonna be a shortcut back to somewhere, but no. Yes. Cool. I think this is as good a place as any to stop. Uh so what I'm gonna go ahead and do here is I will wrap up this episode of Elden Ring. Let's just check out where the hell we are. Where the hell are we? Looks like there's still a ton left to this area. We were there, right? And then we need to go... Like, maybe I've been there? I don't actually know. Oh, no, no, no. I think this, this might be it. Because I feel like that big arena type deal is definitely something. We'll find out in the next episode. I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here. If you did enjoy this episode of Elden Ring, make sure to give this video a like. As always, comment, subscribe. If you're new here, turn on post notifications. And I will catch you next time. Peace out and goodbye.